Today, we'll teach you five elastico variations that you can use to look cool on the pitch, but also really ruin the defender's day. So, let's go! And we start out with the standard elastico, or you might also know it as the flip flap, or the Ronaldinho feint, or the snake bite, or the zack zack, or whatever your friends have decided to call it. But essentially, it's this little move consisting of this rubber band like motion where you make two touches and beat the defender in a fluid motion. Now, ideally, if you're facing a defender, this first move, let's call it the flip, will basically fixate their body weight, make them go that way, while the second move is then a touch out to the other direction, which will help you beat the defender. And that's all cool. But the important thing with the elastical here is that you make it in one fluid motion, not a flip and a flap. I mean, that might also work, but it's not an elastico, okay? So what you want to do here is that you kind of push your foot that way, you touch the ball, and then you move your foot to the other side of the ball. Once you do that, you plant it in the ground while it points forward, and then you touch the ball with the inside of that same foot. So first move, flip, second move, flap, flip, flap, that's the elastico. And then there is the reverse elastico, which I should probably guess is the exact opposite movement of the standard elastico, meaning that instead of going away from your body with the flip, well, you go across your body with the flip and then push the ball outside with the flap. And it's especially good if you're facing a defender and you want to go that direction. Then you can whip out the reverse elastico. So what you want to focus on here is that you obviously start the move, the flip, by pushing the ball with the inside of your foot you move it to the other side of the ball and push it away with the outside of your foot. So exactly the reverse, the standard elastico. But it is a little bit trickier, I find at least, but what made me go, aha, I can actually do this, is that you need to get on your toes with your standing foot to get that little root, and then you can get that little snappy motion of the reverse elastico. It doesn't have to be like a long push a long rubber band that you do. No, just a quick little snappy zack zack motion and you're out. And then we have the Elasti Croquetta, which uh, I'll admit it, it's a completely self-made up name, but it's also exactly what it sounds like, an elastico with a croquetta at the end. Now for this one, you might need a little bit more space ahead of you between you and the defender to pull this off because obviously you start out with a standard elastico and then after you've done that, you pull out your standing foot, so your non-elastico foot, then you use that to scoop your ball across the body, almost like pushing it into the other foot that you're then gonna use to push the ball forward with. Now, again, it's important that you do the croquetta in a fluid motion. It shouldn't be like, well, well, that's not a croquetta. Again, it might work, but again, you want this elastic flip-flap like motion. So, elastico, ruh, ruh, and that is the elastic croquetta. And skill number four is what we can call the elastico chop. And essentially, you set it up as if you were doing a standard elastico. So push the ball out for the flip with the outside of your foot. But once you've done that, it's a little bit different because then as you do the flap, putting the ball in that direction, you also jump over the ball with your non-elastico standing foot. And that means that hopefully the defender is going to not only fall for the flip, but also put some extra body weight, some extra momentum that way, because, I mean, your standing foot is doing like that. So basically, it looks like you are going that direction, but the ball is going that direction with a little bit of magic. So flip flap over the ball, and hopefully you're gone. Maybe you can hear it, but the kids love it. You know, elastico chop. And then finally, there is the hocus pocus, which is by far the coolest looking and also the cheekiest in this lineup, in my book at least. But it's also the most difficult. And essentially it is a, I guess you can call it a reverse elastico behind your standing leg, kinda. Now what you do here is that you take your support leg, you put it a little bit in front of the ball, then you take your elastico foot, you scoop the ball with the inside of that foot behind your leg, and then hopefully in the same fluid motion, you push it forward with the top part of your foot. And maybe it sounds a little bit easy, but you know, 
is a bit of a tricky move, especially if you want to do it fluidly and relatively quickly to really fool the defender. But what I found to make it a little bit easier at least is to again make sure that you get on your toe on your standing foot. Because that just makes it a little bit easier to get the flap going forward. See, even slow, it's kind of difficult, but like that, that's the hocus pocus. So just make sure you train it. And then you train it some more, and then you train it again. Because, I mean, it looks cool, but it doesn't look so cool if you try it and you fail again and again. So it's about training. It's a risky one. Magic is risky. But go and do it. You're a magician. So there you have them, my friends, five elastic holes that you can use to look a little bit cooler on the pitch. But what's also important is that you train them a lot, because a failed elastic hole always looks kind of silly. But guys, what do you want us to teach you next? As always, let us know in the comment section right down below. And then remember, if you need new boots or new gear, like maybe the Phantom GX that I'm wearing, you can go to unisports.com in the link right over there and go absolutely nuts. Of course, also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel with the notifications on. And if you like learning new skills, why not check the playlist out in the bottom right corner there. And with those words, I'll be signing off. Cheerio.